so much magic is just a memory. You do something, they get a sense of it, it looks a certain way and then it goes back to reality. With Flatline, the extraordinary event remains frozen in time. It's something they just handle. Then a moment later you do something extraordinary with it and then you hand it out. I've done so many different things with the marker. I've crushed it under a, a bottle of water or a Coke can. I've slipped it into my wallet and crushed it that way. I've wrapped flash paper around it and sparked it. Uh, I've used it to reveal selected cards. Uh, I've used it to introduce my business card. Some people find a crushed marker hilarious. They laugh and laugh and they can't believe it. it's like a sight gag for some people. For other people, it's a total mystery. It's something absolutely inexplicable. Probably my favorite effect to do with the flatline gimmick is a variation of the light zig card stack. Because I can take the marker, jab it in, find one thought of card or two thought of cards, and then beautifully cap the impossible moment by then revealing that when I jabbed it in, I also somehow, impossibly, flatten the end of the marker. I'm also gonna show you a bunch of handlings and presentations, including a sobriety test which I came up with for working in bars that uses the flatline gimmick as a sobriety test uh, for both laughs and also a great way to present the shocking ending. And for all of you who've been having fun for the last couple of years with all these smoke gimmicks that are now out in the market, you combine a bit of smoke with the flatline gimmick and you have an absolute reputation of something crazy. And I've worked for years of playing around with nail writers, impression gimmicks. I mean, the whole premise of trying to get people to truly believe you've got some sort of mental relationship with them is always a challenge. But Hot Thought approaches this challenge in a very different, super down-to-earth way. I came up with Remarkable uh, over 20 years ago, and I still use it on my stand-up shows. I mean, when you have a marker and you split it visually into two markers and then split it again into a third marker, uh, it looks like real magic and it plays to everybody, even in a really large space. And magnetic is something I do for people when they're giving me a bit of attitude, and it happens. I mean, I'm a nice guy, but I still get attitude sometimes. And so I'll do magnetic, which perfectly suckers people in that starts in a very simple kind of almost beginner magic trick, but finishes with a cap so firmly stuck on the marker that there's no way even the strongest person in the room can remove the cap. I'm also going to share with you a fact. Uh, I've been keeping kind of quiet with myself for a while, involving a toothpick and a brand new principle where you can make this toothpick sort of vanish and appear wherever you want. I even use it to reveal a selected card in a really shocking and strange way.